Hi, I am Sandro Gauci. In this demonstration, I will be giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to attack a web application which has a weak authentication mechanism. To do this, we will be making use of Acunetix Web Security Scanner. First, we will enable the HTTP sniffer from Acunetix. Next, we can configure the web browser to make use of the HTTP sniffer. This is the web application that we will be testing. It consists of a simple online newsletter that allows users to log in in order to change their details or unsubscribe. To understand how authentication for this web application works, we need to have an account. So first, I will register an account on this site. We can now log in to our new account. The HTTP sniffer shows the HTTP traffic and from here we can get a better idea of what is going on in the background. Notice how the web browser now has a cookie called user ID. Since this traffic is sent by the web browser, the user ID cookie can be modified to a different user ID. From the HTTP sniffer, right click on the request and choose the option to send to the HTTP fuzzer. From here, we can add a number generator. This will be used to automatically send HTTP requests each with a different user ID. By guessing user ID numbers, we can now access other users' profiles. A real attacker might want to access a particular user's email account. Many people use the same password on different websites. This means that the newsletter password may have a higher value than originally perceived. A few minutes later, we have enumerated all accounts on the newsletter website and an attacker can now proceed to search for his victim. The target in this case is David Nathan. Since we have a large number of accounts, I created a filter to display only this user's profile. By viewing the HTML code, we can reveal the password which would otherwise be hidden on the rendered web page. We can then simply copy and paste the details such as email address and password. Finally, we can log in to his Hotmail account by making use of the password from the vulnerable newsletter site. For more information about Acunetix Web Vulnerability Scanner, check out acunetix.com.